It's how you, if you're lonely, streamers are not the way. Like friends, other lonely people from the internet. You just gotta give them money. Oh, stop doing that. Get disappointed. It's like, I gave you so much money. I just want to call you on the phone. You don't have time for me. I thought we were friends. Get some, get some other people to be your friend. And stop giving your body to streamers to pay for your, like, fake friends. It's never going to work. We do not give a f about you or your problems. Your donors, like, it's some competition and that people are commodities and not fucking people. Because that's all they are. That's all you guys are to him. Don't you get that? That's all the fuck you are. And at least, like, I know I was being a bitch the other night, but, like, damn, dude. Like, I usually treat everybody very fucking respectfully. I don't think so, single man. They don't think so. You're just a lady dragging hater. Scrape, scrape, bitch. Can you mock what ban that bitch? Banner. Ban single man. She got a lot of my chat. I don't like hearing her labial scrapes. She's too old for this. She could totally help her out here. Banner. Get too caught up in a world that doesn't give a fuck about her, just like her family. Or she wouldn't be here. No, I'm bothered that someone who told me to trust them to have my back disappeared on me when I needed them the most to do what they said they were going to do. That's why I'm, I'm hurt and I'm mad. Yeah. A massive cunt. Like I said, I said what I know to say. I was exaggerating quite a bit how I really felt. Didn't want anybody to neck or be too hurt, but. We've got a group of people that not all of them, not the entire generation, but too, too large a percentage of a generation who their emotional evolution, their emotional growth was stunted. Hey, A, you know what? Get A out of here. She's not allowed in here. A, I told you fucking be a grown-up. Get the fuck out, cunt. You fucking stupid whore. I hope your grandma dies. Stupid bitch. I like stupid whores. Fucking bitch out of the fucking chat. We all know it was late at night, and I couldn't have afforded an emergency bed, okay? I, I couldn't have afforded an emergency bed. At night, and I couldn't have afforded an emergency bed, okay? I'm sorry, A, that I didn't do what you wanted. And at the time, you sympathized and apologized to me a lot for the situation. So why are you a cow now? But yeah, anyway, so I didn't have money for the emergency vet, which is like triple the cost of a normal vet. Waited until another vet opened in the morning and, or until my mom sent me money for the emergency vet. I waited for both of those. Uh, this was your it's so funny how fake and pathetic you are. I can't wait to hear how your grandma dies because your boyfriend tells me everything. And he also donates thousands of dollars a day to me sometimes. How's that feel, sweetheart? Pretty detail about your life? Yeah, bitch. I got the deets. <laughs> Talking to this girl. I'm good. This fucking viewer, Andy, who thinks she's somebody, but nobody really cares. Stop giving your money to streamers to pay for, like, fake friendships. We do not give up a fuck about you or your province. And that's just BS. Everybody's just allowed them to continue. They're stunted back and they're still living emotionally at about that age. So, yeah, I mean, I would just say, listen, I love you if you're hungry, but we're not we're not giving able-bodied adults money. Go get a job. No, Bimbo, but uh, he did say he was going to pay for therapy. And I really fucking need that therapy, but it's obviously not coming. Like, I hope there's a good reason for it and not just some dumb fucking nonsense you got back with nick for five seconds reason because that's fucking not fair this victimy part of narcissism is a central pillar of the vulnerable formulation of narcissism this is the type of narcissism that is more sullen resentful broodingly angry aggrieved i'm pathetic i am that's no not... i'm pathetic like how can i feel good about that you don't nick how do i feel good about you taking my house enough fucking said i wouldn't be here if you never fucking entered my life i'd be home in scottsdale with all four of my cats and dogs because probably the stress is what killed lillian the stress of you falling through my ceiling you killed my cat unintentionally you killed my cat unintentionally I, I didn't kill your cat. and i let you come back and i helped kill my cat unintentionally none of us killed your fucking cat no, she died of a virus that was stress-induced, dude. You think you falling through my ceiling and all the drama we had to go through with moving didn't fucking stress her out? I think she was fine, dude. I think we killed Lily. I don't think we did. 
Either way, I'd have three of my babies. I'd be in my room in Scottsdale, and I wouldn't even know who the fuck you are if you never came fucking around. I don't want to hear about chicken anymore. I'm the one who actually lost things. Dude, I'm never going to be able to date, ever. Yeah, go date someone who's not me who's sitting right here telling you you lie, she lied. When you act like that's not good enough. All the things I do for you, it's like you don't care. Yeah, there's nothing to kill my wounds or masculinity. You know, like so then maybe you should just leave the car. I don't have to be alone with you, the guy that I love that doesn't want to fucking even look at me. And when you look at your face, I'll tell you how ashamed of myself I am. No, Nick, I know how ashamed of yourself you are. I'm the one who lost things. And me with chicken, it was in retaliation of you already cheating on me. And when you take accountability for that, maybe things will move forward. All right, I take accountability for even getting myself in a relationship with people because she's younger. Shay will never be good enough for Danny or for Nick. <laughs> Get out of my car. Listen, you're not helping someone if you're participating in their insanity. Right. You're helping right. someone if they have changed their ways. I was promised something that I thought I was going to get help for, and then when I needed it, it wasn't there. So, yeah, it actually brings back a little bit of my childhood trauma with my mother. Narcissistic people are eternal victims. While this is much more pronounced in the vulnerable narcissistic style, it is, it's pretty universal. And then I hear that you donated to Dex even though you hadn't responded to me, which by the way, I asked about your sister constantly and you ignored it. I gave up fucking giving a shit. It wasn't because I hated you or wished bad upon you. It was literally just because I was fucking hurt and over it. People that are new that come get to try to get to know me, like that's cool. You can on a surface level, but I'm not really a friend simulator, guys. You guys don't get to just like invade my life and like act like it's normal. Okay, that doesn't matter, Gloom. I All you had to do was text me back and tell me that. You just literally could have texted me back and told me that, but you chose to ignore it, which is offensive, and then you gave a 19-year-old drug money. And I'm saying it the way I'm saying it because that's where the fuck it went, and we all fucking know it. Yeah. Number one, I don't give money to people who don't speak to me. Right. I mean, just kiss my butt. That's ridiculous. Uh, that does not buy you anything. It does not cause anything good to happen. It's it's just a sign of complete enabling. Yeah. Come on, you could have done better. I deserve a fucking answer. I didn't say he owed me that. I said he promised me therapy, okay? And you're the ones who are taking it and making it a shit show about him like he's a fucking ant under a microscope. You know, what are you going to do? How are you going to say that? And this guy's giving you like a couple grand a, a month. You're going to tell him, you know, I think you're weird, actually, man. Stop calling me. No, or you're going to be like, I'm sorry, you can't get it to kill. Oh, yeah, let's stop in the form a little bit. That's fucked up. I'm not even going to be nice about it anymore. Like, come on, dude. I didn't fucking deserve that. It's fucking not right. When someone's okay. heading in the wrong direction and you help them, that's not help. That's harm. Very when you hard. when you assist someone in harming themselves, that's not mm -hmm. love. Right. That's toxic uh, garbage. I, okay, I'm going to be real. Like, Moon hurts because, like, he didn't fucking creep on me. He didn't make me feel like an object. He just made me feel like somebody that gave a fuck about me and my situation. And, like, fuck, dude. Like, goddamn, we all know nobody gives a fuck about me and my situation. Like... <sighs> People like me that much. This wouldn't be a problem. People don't like me that much. It's kind of pathetic. Uh, I gotta say, this doesn't look like someone who's enjoying what they're doing and having fun. When I think of having fun, streaming myself crying about donations isn't the first activity that comes to mind, but hey, maybe that's just me. I'm like one of the fucking few people that ever fucking listen about Nick, like, and then you just fucking ghost me when I fucking say I need you, like, fuck you, dude, it didn't have to be about money, you could have fucking responded about your sister and fucking, like, given me the time of day to be a person and not a fucking, like, like, what did you look at me as? Because I fucking looked at you as someone who gave a fuck, but now I don't fucking know what the fuck your motives were. TBH. But if you're a streamer or YouTuber, nobody owes you anything, IRL or not. You're not entitled to donations just because you're streaming. And I get the impression that that's the idea many people have when they start doing Twitch or YouTube. And you guys are going to yeah. have to sit down and figure out what's been going on in your lives. And we'll coach you. If y'all were supporting me because you wanted me to get out of homelessness, that's cute. Because you guys are fucking abandoning me when my car is about to fall apart and I need that to make money. So all I need 
need is donations from you guys to fix my goddamn car, and you can't even pull that the fuck over your fucking asses. So fuck all of you. Yeah. Yeah. That's the definition of adult. Yeah. You're on your own, <laughs> puppy. Abigail, I really appreciate that with you as well, and I don't say that enough. But yeah. You hate your donators that you do have not now. I don't hate all of them. Get going. And I think that Moon, like, I don't know, like, he had fucking integrity and, like, didn't make me feel like I was a fucking piece of fucking meat. And, like, I don't know. I was, I guess I was just naive. And I thought that, like, this is, this is the number one thing that I didn't understand about when I got back with Nick. Everybody fucking left me, okay? Like, everybody except for Lark. Listen, you're not helping someone if you're participating in their insanity. Right. You're helping right. someone if they have changed their ways. Now, let's pretend that this same young couple that is your kids, that mm -hmm. let, let's pretend that suddenly they started doing a good job handling their money, and they were on a budget, and they were making wise choices, and they were working extra jobs, and they were selling off stuff to try to get out of debt, and, and, mm -hmm. and then you gave them some money to pay off one of their debts? Well, right. that would be helping them. If you guys wanted to see me fucking finish on the finish line, why did everybody abandon me when I was right about to get to it? Like, dude, like I had so many car emergencies, dude. Like, I'm still fucking homeless, okay? Like, my dog is not doing well in the car. She She's creating these traps where you have to participate in her crazy with limited information based on the fact she painted herself in the corner. And now, now asking you to participate in that. I'm, I'm sorry. I love her, but I'm not going to do that. No. It's about, it's about how do you fucking get somebody to the point where they plan a fucking future with you, and then you fucking think, oh hey, it's been three months. Maybe at least he'll appreciate me now because he saw how things were without me. But no, he couldn't appreciate me once. Not once. Not fucking once. Okay, like not. Once. There's a lot of them, when things don't go their way, it's a lot of woe is me, nothing's ever fair to me, my life is uniquely unfair. Streaming yourself at rock bottom, demanding donations, isn't gonna do you any favors. This might sound like a crazy idea to the streamer, but how about perhaps thinking about getting a job so you don't have to cry for a three dollar donation? You only donate if they like you. Guys, I'm no Twitch or streaming expert, but I don't think it takes an expert to know that crying and begging for donations is sure as shit not the type of stream that's gonna make people want to bust out their wallets and drop fat stacks. Maybe a few simps if you're lucky. I don't have a single simp, honestly. Or I wouldn't be, um... <laughs> Sorry to burst your hemorrhoid, but if you're a streamer or YouTuber, nobody owes you anything. You're not entitled to donations just because you're streaming, and I get the impression that that's the idea many people have when they start doing Twitch or YouTube. If a narcissistic person believes they are not getting theirs, they will almost immediately fall into victim mode. But this is different than another mode we witness narcissistic people often falling into and that is the martyr mode i know i really do need fucking therapy because like fuck he hurt me so bad that it's hard to go to bed at night without crying okay like i don't understand how none of fucking what i gave him was good enough it doesn't fucking make sense to me because i gave him everything i had to give him the martyr mode is the, look how I suffer, look how much I gave up, look what I'm willing to give up mode that the narcissistic person often uses to manipulate other people or to garner validation. This is a lot of you guys, like, you expect, like, everyone's going to give you content all the time, but then you don't want to donate. People are going to put their lives on the line, but then they still expect the communal narcissist, the narcissist who gets their validation by being perceived as some sort of grand savior, actually maintains an identity of being, again, this sort of living saint who gives so much, who does so much and sacrifices. But my reading on saints was that when they were alive, they didn't actually draw a lot of attention to themselves. 
But for the com and then they have to be dead too. Jesus fuck, okay? Like, is anybody gonna give me a pat on the back even for not getting evicted? I paid for four people by myself. I gave way too much to a narcissist fucking sociopath. He don't give two shits about anybody but himself. And I wasted so much of myself on him that I will never get back. I know that some of you are thinking, oh, just don't fall for it. But it's really difficult not to fall for it. Fall for it. Especially if the story tracks. It okay? Like, how do you fucking love someone who hates you as bad as he obviously fucking hates me? <laughs> So let's look at a few ways that this can show up. Really though? Yeah, I've been fucking evil because nobody's fucking listening and it's been me fucking taking care of myself over and fucking over again here. Like, Just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, that's the definition of adult. Yeah, You're on your own, mm -hmm. puppy. <laughs> I'm not Nick and I'm not dating you guys. You're not my fucking owners, unlike him and his chat. Okay, like... <laughs> I'm grateful for everything, and I don't want to feel like people hate me for no fucking reason or stupid reasons like I got back with my fucking ex. Fred Simulators, I'm your friend though. Sure, Edward Kim. And I'm sorry I got back with him, but I needed to see if he was gonna fucking appreciate me, okay? And he didn't. He th fucking didn't, dude. You know, I'm sorry. I love you, and I'll be here for you, and I'll be your biggest cheerleader. And I'll help you, but this is not this. I'm not gonna be able to play this time. This this game's not a game I'd like the rules for, and I don't want to play in this game. So I think you're gonna give her money anyway, but I wouldn't. For example, the parent who may ostensibly have made some sacrifices, or at least had a much more difficult early life than you did, constantly reminding you of that, it wears on you, and sometimes you give in not because you aren't good at boundaries. But because you do kind of feel bad and you just can't listen to it anymore. Martyrs do not make a good dinner party guest. They get very dull very quickly. Maybe this will prove to Chad that I fucking give a shit about people and not their money. As mo Like, it's not my fuck. I've never want, I've always tried to treat people that gave me donations with respect because like I never wanted to treat somebody like a fucking commodity that was just used for fucking money and then thrown away because I know that would be fucking horrible and I actually fucking went through that for a fucking year, okay? Like, I'm not trying to do that to other people. Jesus, fuck. As you can imagine, asking someone who's saying that kind of stuff, asking them to borrow a buck is not going to be worth it. It's important to understand the distinction because most of us are more clear on the woe is me victimized element of narcissism but this martyr part often gets missed. The victim part may play on our pity. We pity a person for whom life isn't going the way that they want or who has failed to launch or they keep selling the story that everybody's out to get them. The interesting thing about pity is that yes, it may keep us stuck in a relationship doing things, trying to make things right for the other person, trying to rescue them. It also does kind of even things out a little. If we pity someone, we do see them as a less powerful. This martyr thing is different because it plays on guilt. And guilt can really fortify the trauma bond. The martyr piece, the sense that we owe someone, or now we owe someone because they made a sacrifice that benefited us, or that they've given so much up for us, or just has given stuff up. That almost pulls, or that almost puts, or keeps them on a higher plane. So the asymmetry in the relationship, which is classical of narcissistic relationships, is maintained. But at the same time, it plays on an intense sense of guilt and an eternal sense of beholdenness. Abigail goes, I got your text, by the way. Um, my bad. I didn't even realize that. Or I just forgot. And that's the whole point is, though, like, I'm not talking to you just for donations. Like, I hope that you fucking can see that. We don't want to be liked by these people. So when you don't like these people back, some of them, they message you, is that, what are you going to be like? I don't like you. No, you're like, you know, yeah, you're awesome. 
but this martyr piece can very much contribute to long-term trauma bonds for people in relationships with them. Okay, like, Abigail Goes doesn't even fucking donate to me like that. Dude, he's donated to me fucking, I think, once maybe or twice. And very small amounts. And I'm not saying that to make a diss at all, Abigail Goes. I'm hoping you take that as a compliment because I still fucking like you and I fucking like to talk to you. Hey, can you, can you, can you not only just pay your bills, like, you know, go out to a nice restaurant once in a while, buy a new phone, buy new clothes, you know, make money. I get disappointed. It's like, I gave you so much money and I just want to call you on the phone. Anyways, um, the only question I had for anybody who's donated to see me get back on my feet, if you guys stopped when I started dating Nick again, do you not want me to make it to the finish line? Yeah, I'd cut this off today. Completely agree. Totally. We're done. Yeah. Done. Number one, I don't give money to people who don't speak to me. Right. I mean, just kiss my butt. That's ridiculous. Um, that does not buy you anything. It does not cause anything good to happen. It's it's just a sign of complete enabling. Yeah. Stupid reasons like I got back with my fucking ex. <sighs> to see if he cared. I just needed to know. <laughs> we do not give a fuck about you or your problems. That was all I fucking got back with him for is I just needed to know. And I don't really feel like making other people feel the way Nick's made me feel. So, there's that. Do you not want me to make it to the finish line? This isn't one of those fucking times, dude. This is not an exaggeration. This is absolutely real. Like, I'm... And if it were an exaggeration, I would just giggle and probably smirk and, like, not say it wasn't. But, like, nah, dude. I certainly wouldn't give her money in this situation because you were not involved in the decision. If she wants your money, you get to be involved in the decision. Do you want to actually see your money go somewhere? Because I needed a little bit more fucking help. On a serious note, guys, at the end of the day, I don't want this person to fail. I wish them all the best in their streaming career since it's definitely not easy to build up an audience. But let this be a lesson to actually enjoy what you're doing on Twitch or YouTube, whatever that might be, and not get into it with money in mind. Nobody donates. People don't donate. For Nobody owes you balls. Just have fun with it. How can you believe anything you say if you admit you lie? That's what I'm trying to tell. Don't believe anything you hear from any streamers, bro. Like, what the fuck? But anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for some more juicy videos coming soon to the channel. And until then, stay sexy. It's more to life that's hitting it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.